my name is Jillian you're watching Jillian Camps Arizona and today we're gonna to be talking about the things that I hate I'm not quite yet certain what I'm going to call this series but let me tell you I hate this with every fiery bean of my heart it's called the outdoorsman lab I don't even know called the Outdoorsman Lab Lightweight Sleeping Bag for Backpacking, Camping, Hiking, Travel, 50 to 70 Warm Weather, Ultralight Compact Packable Bag with Compression Sack for Kids, Men, and Women. Yeah, it is the shittiest sleeping bag I've ever used in my entire life. Right now it's going for $24.95 off of Amazon.com. Let me help you out here. Just feel free to get a sheet from Walmart for about $5.95, a twin size sheet, because that is all that this is worth. It is as thin as a sheet. It does not work worth a shit. Oh my God. I tried to hike the Grand Canyon with this and it just, it was a horrific, failed, miserable time. So I am just so happy to be telling you about this to never buy it. Please do not purchase this at all. And again, I'm not sponsored. So feel free to, uh, not sue me or outdoorsman lab thank you so as far as the features for this piece of shit, let's see what amazon has to say it says a great night of sleep on your camping backing trip backpacking trip support a u.s based small business and enjoy a patent pending designs package with innovative features such as integrated pillowcase yeah that's a lie maybe you can like stuff it full of uh, old used sweaty ass clothes from Arizona and then you'd be just lay your comfortable head down on that huh uh, it says it's designed to help you get the best sleep after a tiring day of camping and backpacking let me tell you you will not be sleeping at all in this whatsoever it is the shittiest thing I have ever used as a sleeping bag and a sorry excuse for a sleeping bag so Let's do a little unboxing of this, shall we? So this is the Outdoorsman. As you can see, it's got these wonderful, it's really tiny, it's wonderful. And actually, I got my little scale here. We can go ahead and measure it. It weighs 791 grams, for those of you over in the Europe, or one pound, 11 ounces, and seven eighths of an ounce. So, and it says, perfect for women, kids, up to 5'11". No, I would not wish this sleeping bag on my worst enemy. Okay, so let's do a little unboxing. It says Outdoorsman Lab, run on the thing, and you get a mini compression sack with it. And inside is your sheet, I mean, I'm sorry, sleeping bag which is no thicker than a sheet. I thought I could take this to the Grand Canyon and just sleep on the ground instead of buying one of those. Even a cheap foam pad would have been so much better. This is just such a nightmare. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's fairly small and extremely thin. Really, you could go with a sheet and you'd be perfectly happy. I tried to bunch it up around my hips and my hips hurt so badly every morning. So. I just said forget it and I feel like I'm gonna throw this away in fact I should just give this away in the comments below you're going to be entered into a drawing to get this piece of crap in the mail I'll be ha so happy to send this away let me tell you please comment below and you might get this piece of crap so as you can see it's got these straps where you can attach it to a sleeping pad but the whole point of bringing a sleeping bag is so that you don't have to carry two things why would you bring a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad if you live in arizona a hot dry desert let me tell you nobody does that so oh, thing's stuck so the zipper works great on this i've actually never slept on the inside i just thought i'd use it as like a little side but let me tell you this piece of sh does not work at all as padded so here's what it looks like on the inside right so you can see that it is just a piece of crap I mean I cannot believe how ridiculous it is and I'm sorry I'm recording on a separate day because yesterday these I had so many people they come what they are is a travel company and they show up with like 30 people and I couldn't record anymore so anyways so this is what it looks like on the inside 
Okay, so now we're going to try and stuff it back into that piece of crap stuff sack that it came in in the first place. So let's try and put it back in. Also, the other reason that I hate this thing so much is that instead of one continuous zipper like it usually usually has on a sleeping bag, this one actually has two zippers. So you don't get one, not one, but two zippers in order to zip this stupid thing back up. So I will be so happy to send this away again. If you subscribe and comment below, I will be more than happy to send this to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to try and roll it up, put this piece of crap back into the stuff sack. So it's actually, it goes pretty well back in the stuff sack because it's just a little sheet. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna try and roll it up here. little stuff sack. And there you go. And it is a stuff sack, so you know, you're supposed to stuff it to some degree into it. And actually, I just like to cram it and then quick tie it off. And there you have it. The Outdoorsman Lab, 50 to 70 degree weather. What a piece of junk. And can I just say that your mileage may vary. I mean, you might love Outdoorsman Lab. And this probably works as long as you have a camp pad underneath. And I mean, honestly, I, I just do not see the use of this. If you want padding, and you're going car camping, just go for a pad and a large sleeping bag. I don't see how this can even keep you warm down to 70 degrees. It would just be way too cold. So, so I'm just gonna compression it a little bit so that you can see the, how the compression works. It actually works really good. So see, it just compresses down. Anyways, I will be so happy to send this to somebody. Maybe it'll work for you. So again, your, vi your mileage may vary. You may enjoy this type of sleeping bag, but I this just did not work for me. So, okay. I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.